Hello everyone, welcome to Funch. In our brand new video tutorial, we will be teaching you how to design a very simple and minimalistic portfolio landing page for a fictional designer and developer called Timmy Jackson. In this tutorial, we will be leading you on how to design a simple portfolio web page by using only typography and an image. And to addition to that, we'll be using attractive colors to bring your design to life. So without further ado, let's start designing. Okay, let's get started with this project. So first, what you want to do is you want to import our Starpack files we have provided in the description. So make sure to copy them and to paste them into your uh, Figma file. There we go. I'm just going to name this file. Folio landing page and I'm going to start designing. So we have just the typical stuff here. We have a uh, logo, textiles that we're going to be using is uh, SF Pro display, we have an image here and some colors. Let's start designing this very simple portfolio website. Let's get a desktop frame, let's name it landing page here. Uh, let's give it a background color. So we have provided a background color. You can use this one. Just paste the hex code and there we go. Okay, so let's design the navigation as a star. So you want to create a frame of 64 pixels and Expand it all the way to the other end. There we go. Let's give it a navigation name. And before we start designing everything into this landing page, we want to add two layout grids. So let's add the first one. We want columns 12, margin, we want margin of, um, let's go with uh, 40, and I got her of uh, 10. Okay, and Let's change the color actually, something wider. There we go. Let's add another layout grid. We want rows 12, margin 40, and gather 16 as well. There we go. Change the color here as well. Yeah, that should work fine. We can disable the rows for now and let's design this navigation. So let's grab the logo as a starter. So it's just this text, Stimo. Uh, let's position it properly here. There we go. Okay, let's design the navigation links of this portfolio. We're going to have about, experience, uh, experience, and work. So let's start designing them. Uh, let's uh, write here zero one about 16 pixels. And Figma recognized it as a numbered list. So let's. There we go. Try to go backspace and space and it should fix itself. Okay, let's give this uh, 01 a proper color. So we're going to be using this primary color here. It's a light green color. It's, it goes very well with this background. And before we design all the rest of the links, we want to add all the layout to this nav link holding Shift A. And we want to add four pixel spacing, left, right, and zero, top, bottom. The reason we're doing this is this will give the navigation links, the navigation links a very fresh feeling. And it will basically help us with the spacing and they will look much more evenly spaced with adding all the layout and a little bit of space in it. Let's design the second one. This is experience. Let's copy it one more time. The copy elements holding out uh, shift, by the way. And just drag them and you can copy it and this should be work. There we go. Let's uh, align them and distribute horizontal spacing of 24. Let's group them, control G to group, and there we go. Okay, that's uh, finished. Now we're going to have a button here. It's going to say a resume. We can add all the layout here, so holding shift A. Let's add uh, 8 top and bottom and maybe 16 left and right. Let's do a 12 maybe left and right. Yeah. Let's grab this uh, primary color here and add it as a text color here. And let's add a stroke as well. Let's add the stroke color here and let's add corner radius of 4. There we go. Let's position this on the grid. There we go. Make sure to align it as well vertically 
align these vertically as well and let's position them 24 pixels away from the resume button the way i'm moving them is by holding alt and shift so i can increment them if you don't hold shift it, it will increment by one pixel but if you hold shift it will increment either by eight or ten pixels depending on how it's configured at your side if you want to see how to configure increment spacing you can check out some tutorials on google or youtube it's pretty easy to configure it but that's for another video so let's uh, now design the head the heading here we're going to have a hero title here a paragraph a button and a little text above the heading so let's start designing with with that so let's write here let me back some so actually we're going to have two titles and this should be in uh 54 font uh font size and let's copy this down one more time and let's write here i develop stuff on the web there we go. Let's position it right below Timmy. Uh, let's give this title some proper text color. Let's select this one and apply it here. Let's select the second one and apply it here. But what we're going to do with the second one is we're going to uh, decrease the visibility here. So to 8. Let's disable the grid and you'll see that it gives it a better blend. There we go. Let's go with 65 here. Yeah, 65 should work well. Let's enable the column grid here. And let's write the text above the heading. So designer and developer. This should be 14 pixels. And let's give this the primary color. So I'm just gonna grab it from here. And I'm gonna paste. There we go. Let's position this approximately 16. Okay, let's go with 12 maybe. Yeah, let's go with 12 pixels. And now let's uh, add some description here, some paragraphs. So I'm a software software engineer coding. Uh, quality oops quality digital experiences and an occasional designer for the web currently working on a web tree project there we go this is good but the only thing we want to add let's copy this primary color this uh, let's uh, select this web tree and just add a fill here there we go let's position this 20 pixels away from the head from the titles headlines there we go okay let's go for the button here now let's write up in touch here and let's add all the layout and we want to increase the font size to 16 here Let's add uh, 12 pixel, actually 16 pixels, up and bottom, and 20 left and right. Let's go with six, 12 maybe, up and bottom. Yeah, this should work well. Let's also paste the same color to the stroke here and to the text as well. Now let's add four corner radius pixels. There we go. And position the button approximately 20 picks 24 let's go with 20. let's increase the size to 24 here left and right spacing there we go that should work very well okay we have our count our text content designed and we can group them there we go uh, let's position them vertically here in the middle and now we're, the only thing we're missing is the image let's activate the grid here the rows i mean and what we want to do now is want to bring in the image so let's copy it and paste it here and it should align perfectly on the grid so you can see how useful the grid was 
So the way I designed this image, you can also do it by yourself, is I just look at the grid that we have. So we have 12 rows and 12 columns. So you can get a good idea on how to design and put an image in this this uh, landing page particularly. So I just use the grid to create a frame basically around these edges here. And I basically just found an image from Unsplash. Unsplash is a free image repository you can browse online. And I basically just added some uh, edits to the picture and you basically have a land, uh, an attractive landing page. That's simple. So that's really that easy. So you can see the image fits perfectly here. So yeah. And you can also enter the, them both. And there we go table the grids and there we go guys we have a very simple landing portfolio web page thank you so much for watching this video guys hopefully you enjoyed it and learned something new on the way uh if you want us to produce more quality videos like this make sure to like this video comment comment and subscribe to our channel and we'll catch you in the next episode thank you guys